I'm going to review the installation of this Battleborn battery into a 2020 Ford Transit van. We're looking at the passenger side seat and I'm going to cover the bill of materials of parts I used to install this and show the attachment points. It's kind of a miracle how it all came together but it was very inexpensive and very solid when I was done. My objective was not to have to drill any holes and use all the existing attach points I could. Here's just a review of all the material. There's some angle 16 thick 3 quarter by 36. This costs about 5 bucks at Home Depot. I happen to have these straps laying around. Um, I bolted this to the this seat uh, pedestal, I call it. I just used a quarter 20, a, a flat washer and a nut, stainless. A turnbuckle, quarter by seven and three quarter inch, 90 pound load rating. I used three of those and I used three of these straps and less than this whole length of uh, 36 inch aluminum. I used a carabiner, aluminum three and an eighth, and then these tie downs, I only needed one, I bought like four of them just to have them, but unbelievable, this right here, Home Depot, $1.75 for these, it was just crazy, it's only a 300 pound working limit, but that's more than I need. A lot of these are 400 or 500, the standard ones, but I wanted something smaller size-wise. So I'm going to get into uh, the installation right now. Come around here. I'll show the attach points. And the strategy was to bias the battery into this corner right here, right on the, the frame north south this way uh, there's a spot and then up against I put the aluminum bar in here um, it's kind of hard to show with the light but that channel is resting right here there we go um, I, I just inserted it east west under the seat pedestal and it fit in there perfectly I didn't have to fasten it at all just slid it in there and the reason I did that is I didn't want to have the battery touching this uh, arc of sheet metal along the bottom at the corner. It would have been sharp and left impressions into the battery. So, you know, it's got a, a, the angle to position it, locate it forward. Um, so, again, the strategy was to bias the whole battery into this corner right here and then hold it down so this is really like the datum um, so I'll look at the straps um, there actually there was a I used two turnbuckles here using this existing hole for one of them and the existing hole back here for the other one right down there in order to balance the forces I wanted this strap to go east-west to push it straight into the side. So I used the uh, ratcheting strap system for that. I placed some more of the aluminum underneath the corners just to make sure um, it doesn't get dented by these, these tie-down hooks. So without that I was using that light I'll try not using it maybe it'll be fine it creates less glare so I put each of the two turnbuckles into this hook came across here now this side was funny I didn't even use the uh, strap the way they really expect you to I put a uh, carabiner through the loop right here and then attach it to that other strap I showed down at the bottom. Let's see. You can see where there. 
looking straight down there's a slot in the uh, seat pedestal it's about an inch and a half wide and I, I used that one inch wide strap I had just to, to form a loop right in there so that loop then connects to the carabiner and that completes that that side so in order to get load to push it forward I used strap with a carabiner so this is that ratcheting strap up here it's not even used it's just hanging on to the to the hook down in there let's put some light yeah the, the hook uses an existing hole it uh, how do we get that it's kind of hard to get in there there it is you can see the the hook I'll zoom it's just poking up through this hole in the sheet metal so that hooks to the turnbuckle and the turnbuckle then I connects to this strap I, I made a loop to go through the turnbuckle and that strap runs along up to the front again along the side of the battery all the way up to the front and then right around the corner to the end of that strap where I used that quarter 20 and there's an existing hole I'm covering with my finger right here oh there it is there was that one I didn't use I cho chose to use this one since it was closer to the side and by doing that I've effectively bias the whole battery into the corner and the upper strap provides the vertical force to hold it down so that's essentially the whole system and uh, you know it didn't cost very much but what I really like is the batteries in here really solid it doesn't move at all and it's supported nicely uh, also this strap I ran through the uh, battery housing there's a a little little uh, guide path through the battery that the strap goes through Let's see if we can kind of hard to film all this but yeah there you go strap just running all the way around straight back and then around the corner to the spot I showed earlier there's it yeah right there that's it the key is this has to stay below the uh in the seat this part of the frame mates right onto this surface so i've got about an inch at most above this plane that this can stick up maybe it's a little more than an inch if i were to measure it but it clears it no problem and the the portion that i'm talking about is right here on the seat this rod right here that crosses over there's the adjusting lever so as long as you can clear this the seat can go back and forth no problem this fabric covers all this back up it's just attached by these little push fasteners body fastener into the hole But that's it I'll do another video on the uh, charger I put in